In Creo Parametric 10.0, there is a new command for creating a closed loop curve. There are lots of uses for closed loop curves like dividing surfaces, copy and paste, and other surfacing operations. Normally, this involves a lot of merging and trimming of existing curves, but the new command eliminates that. Let's take a look at how it works. Here I have a part model. I've got a surface that I created a bunch of curves through different points, and I even took one sketch and then projected it onto the surface. And these curves are not trimmed to one another. Let's create a closed loop curve from them. I will go to the datum overflow menu and then the curve flyout. And here is closed loop curve. The first input is where it's going to be placed. And you can place it on a surface, a datum plane, a quilt, or a body. I will select this surface in the model. And then you're going to select your boundary curves, your different chains of curves that are going to be used for creating the closed loop. Now I'm going to start off by selecting, let's grab one edge of the surface. I'll hold the shift key and then move my mouse over the surface itself to grab the surface loop. That'll be the first input. Right now there's little warnings like, hey, wait, we don't have enough references. I will hold down the control key and grab one of my other curves. And there you can see a preview of the result. Let me hold down the control key and grab a, another curve. And there we see one of the different options. There are buttons that you can use to cycle through the different possibilities, but let me select a few other curves first. Let me select this one and this one. You can see how the solution is updating. Now let's check out some of the other possible solutions. I'll hit the next button and the next button. And I'll just do this a few times so you can see all the different possible results. Yeah, quite a few options in here for the different choices. Let me just settle on one of them. Let me just settle on this one, for example, and just hit the check mark. And there we have the new curve created in the part. I am going to take this and hide it to prevent myself from selecting it. Let's take a look at a little more complicated situation. I will do the same closed loop curve on the same surface. Let's select as the inputs. I'll use my shift selection to get the surface chain and I will select the same curves as before but I'm going to add in that ellipse this time you'll just see that there are a whole lot more options available and so there's one preview I'll just again click through this so you can see all the different options that it's cycling through for the potential closed loop curves that you can create I will settle on this one and then hit the check mark. And so now we have a new closed loop curve created in the model. So that's how you use the new closed loop curve feature.